Welcome to the Edge of Greatness podcast. How do you how do we ask questions like a poker player? Because that's that's an interesting one. Someone recently asked me about uh, golf, and I said, "Well, I had a choice a few years ago, many years ago now. I was going to get good at golf or good at poker, and I just didn't think I had time to do both. And it seemed like poker would be lucrative, and much like uh, it could be very costly too. But and like they say in the movie Rounders, like there is luck involved, but it's not a game of luck overall. It's more of a game of skill with elements of luck." And when you first start, you're like, I don't believe that. Like, it's, it's pure gambling. But if you think about it just on a simple level, you're playing against nine players, not the house. So at the end of the day, you're literally playing against nine other people and the house gets a cut. But the cut, if it's a fair game, is so small that it's just like paying a tax on the winning hand. So that's the simple framework. So I, I said to myself, if I'm going to get good at poker, if I'm going to play poker, I'm going to read books on poker. So I read 16 books on poker. Um, I got really obsessed with it. I watched rounders back and forth with the director's commentary left and right. I found every poker movie. I started downloading every podcast. I just dove into it and loved learning about it. My wife got to watch all this as we were dating and whatnot. So I'm sure that's what made me attractive in her eyes. But one of the podcasts I heard, a guy was interviewing an online poker player. And he said, when you're facing fourth street, the fourth card, and you're trying to determine what to bet, what is the optimal bet size on the turn? And it was like a very technical term, which just basically means, what do you bet on 4th Street? And I'll never forget it. The guy who answered the question said, I don't have a standard bet. And the host was shocked. He was like, I, but I thought like there was a formula, like you bet X if you want Y to happen. He said, well, actually, there is a formula. I bet the exact amount that I think will give me the very best chance of getting my opponent to do what I hope he or she will do. So if I feel that betting a dollar will get my opponent to put his life savings in the middle because I have the best hand, I'll bet a dollar. And if I feel that betting a million dollars will get the person to fold because I don't have the best hand, then I'll bet a million dollars. And I don't know if it was right then, six months later, a week later, that's when it hit me that that's my philosophy on asking questions. I am going to ask my subject or my partner the question that I think will give myself and my audience the very best chance at extracting the value that I hope to get from this person. So whatever I think, and I can, I can morph that. If I want the, the mood to change, I might ask a more somber question. If I want the energy to pick up, I may ask a funny question like you've done several times here today. If I want a longer answer, there's a way to do that. If I want a shorter answer, there's a way to do that. Um, if I want a person to tell a story, I may say, tell me about a time when. And there's all these techniques that educators will recognize as having the footprints of backwards design. What do I want to have happen? I want to have the test created before the units uh, it gets rolled out. And um, it's really good education. And I think it makes for, for damn good conversations. Thank you for joining us today on the Edge of Greatness podcast. If you haven't yet, please take a minute now to subscribe and review our show. Join us again next week as we continue to dig deeper into the key components of greatness. The path to greatness is never linear, so remember to keep pursuing greatness no matter what. Keep stretching your abilities, reach for the stars, and fall flat on your face. But remember, no matter what happens, whenever we fall, always get up. Until next time, I'm Charles Schultz, and this was the Edge of Greatness podcast.